What's going on, everybody? In today's video, I want to talk about one of the most popular questions I get asked. And that question is, will grading companies continue to lower their grading costs? Now, before I get to my opinion, I want to hear what your thoughts are as well on the subject. Because I know a lot of you guys out there grade or are wanting to grade. And the prices is, is pretty much why a lot of people aren't grading right now. So, please feel free to put that stuff down in the comments section. As always, there's a lot of good information that comes flowing through those comments. So, if you have some time, scroll through or take a look. Uh, like I said, a lot of good information comes flowing through there. Now, in today's video, I'm only going to touch two of the grading companies out there. And that's only because I've used both grading companies this year and both recently as well, too. So, with the other grading companies like Beckett, I haven't submitted to Beckett in a long, long time. Um, during COVID, I think I put two orders through and I think it was like 125 or something a card. And that was because they were bigger cards and they were thick stock. And I thought it would be better to set it there uh, than PSA at the time frame. I have never used HGA or CSG just off my own personal preference. So I don't know what those prices were prior to this video. If you do know, like if their prices have stayed the same, gone down, or whatever it is, please leave it down in the comments section below. All right, let me shrink this here real quick, guys. And we're going to go ahead and move into the first one, PSA. So, as you can see on your screen, PSA has a bunch of different levels out there right now. And they've gone down in some categories. So, economy still is at $50. Back when I was doing economy, I want to say it was $30 a card. Um, regular still at $100. Uh, I think... Regular was higher at one time frame. I think Express was two. I think Express was up to 200 at one time. And then all the other ones, I believe, have pretty much stayed the same over the last probably four to six months. The two that are in darker blue on their value is something they just started. And it's been pretty much level at $30 a card with a declared value of $4.99 or less. Bulk is at $18 a card, declared value $1.99 or less. I'm not going to get on the declare value thing because I think I explained it in a few videos already. Um, but if you look at the turnaround times, they're saying 90 to 120 days, 120 days on the other one. With PSA, there is really no quarterly specials going on right now other than the TCG one. And I think if I recall right, I'm not going to flip the screen. I think that's $15 a card. And I forget what how much you could go up to on declared value. When I look at this, I can tell just from my orders alone that they're trucking along quicker than these dates already. I think my July specials were, what, six to eight weeks. I got most of those back, minus the, uh, I call it the modern or the pre-95 and back years are still out there. But they're both in QA2 now. So when I look at this here, I know that they're processing and grading a lot of cards quickly. They're not getting enough in, I don't think, to sustain to keep going at the pace they're going, which means they're going to have to basically come out and either give us quarterly specials or knock down the prices of these cards. At $30 a card, you know, if I go out there and spend $150 on a raw card at PSA 10s, you know, it makes sense. If at PSA 9s, I don't know if it's going to make sense type deal. But a lot of us want that wiggle room to where we're buying the cards raw or opening the bot packs and boxes up. And that if we get a nine, we're still going to get some, make some money on it. And, you know, most of the times now when you look at this $18 one, unless you're submitting stuff that was going to grade out between that, like I'd say $140 to $199, it don't make sense. I mean, why would I go out and spend seven to ten dollars in a card, praying it turns into a PSA ten, and it only turns out to be in you know fifty dollars, sixty dollars onto it? So I'm already in the card for half that amount. I know I'm going to lose, you know, whether it's fee, whatever type of fees are out there and stuff onto it as well too. So I think eventually with PSA, we are going to see more of a decrease or them lowering their prices down, or offering orderly specials out to the members only, 
because this also deals with PSA set registry people with the vintage because a lot of the stuff at $18 a card doesn't make sense at all. And with vintage, it's really hard to go out there and just go find some card you're going to grade It's going to get a six or higher. I mean, on average, you're probably getting twos through fives out there, would be my guess, from just my experience. Now, other people out there may have gotten better um, stats onto I'm going to turn this other light on because I didn't realize I wasn't really showing up that well. But I, I see PSA lowering costs because they're going to have to pull that volume in to sustain their workload in order to say, hey, we need to keep all these employees here and pay them and not do layoffs or start cutting hours and stuff like that there to where they'll lose graders eventually because they'll just go find another job. So with PSA, I think it's not of are they, it's going to be when are they. And with, like I said, the rate that stuff's flowing through right now, from the day I mail it till I get it back, six to eight weeks for anywhere from eighteen to the fifty dollar level, I think is pretty reasonable out there. And just a lot of people aren't setting in a whole ton of crap to get great. There's still people who are. Don't get me wrong, but not everybody is doing it anymore. So they're starting to get smarter and wiser with what they're setting in, because long term, you know, it, it don't make sense at all. I mean, we don't know. If in 10 years that we're going to get some kind of big bubble again where everybody's going to want every card out there and people are going to have them, you know, sitting in the background. I highly doubt that's going to happen. I think we'll have some spikes, but nothing like we've seen before. But with this here, PSA, like I said, it's not when, or it's not going to be are they. It's going to be when are they going to do it. I think probably around the end of the year, they're like, hey, we need to get more stuff backlogged in order to keep projecting, you know, keeping this workflow going. And they just opened that New Jersey shop up, too. So, you know, you got two buildings that's supposed to be taking stuff in in account eventually. Um, I, I see them doing it. But that would be my answer to PSA is that they will be doing that, in my own opinion. It's just when are they going to do it and realize... We need to get that influx in. We need to lower bulk back down to twelve dollars a card, you know, and make make people hit the minimums like this is twenty five. You know, make it a fifty card minimum for twelve dollars a card, and that way people have to actually scratch maybe to find an extra ten cards to send in to get that. It might be their method into you know getting more volume in to stay keep up with. I don't want to say a backlog, but to say that they still got two or three months of grading going on because if that time keeps shrinking, it could be issues then down the road. And I'll talk about that with the next grading company as well. Um, SGC, SGC. I've graded a lot with SGC, mostly vintage through time. Whenever they were quicker during COVID from PSA, I was sending stuff into them really quickly and getting it back. Now, SGC has fluctuated in prices a lot. For the longest time, they were at $30 a card. I know group submitters were at like $23 or something a card, etc. But they did lower it down and came up with a new bracket. 1 to 9 cards, $24. 10 to 19, $22. Hey, you guys can see it goes down to $18 a card if you have it at 50 plus cards. The issue with SGC is that nobody's sending a whole lot of modern into them because they realize the price values overall are not there. I primarily have only been sending vintage in that I know is going to get a grade, I'm going to say like a 4, and then I look at what an SGC 4 and a PSA 4 is, and if I just want to move the card quick or use it in a trade, I can get it back quickly in SGC. My last two orders, SGC, they've received it graded it and either shipped it that day or the next day so when they're saying 10 business days or whatever it is it's a lot quicker they don't have that huge backlog down there right now and due to the values out there sgc is eventually gonna have to drop back down i, I don't know if it's going to be ten dollars a card like it was a while back but they definitely need to cut it down a lot lower because a lot of guys are only sending five to ten cards in. If you're doing five cards, that's twenty-four dollars a piece. You get ten, it's twenty-two, you save two dollars a card. 
I think there needs to be a little more bottom uh, onto it just because the value uh, that these cards are selling for, like an SGC 10, I know there's different comparable things, but overall, SGC 10s are getting around like a PSA 9 price out there. So with that being said, they're going to need to come down. They should, in my opinion, drop prices down again because their workflow right now is like, comes in graded like they'll get my cards in say monday they'll grade and ship it out on tuesday to me so it's really really quick so in order for them to start having a sustained workflow they're gonna have to lower it down and it's only due because their price value especially with modern is just not there not at all and when i look at a lot of stuff like optic uh what is it called? Optic basketball or optic football? One of the two. Optic basketball. Like, not a lot of people are going to send and say they get, I don't know, even if they have 50 cards, they buy two cases of optic, all their base, Kate Cunningham's, Evan Mobley, Scotty Barnes is in. Even if paying $18 a card, an SGC 10 might only come back being like a $30, $40 card, possibly, because nobody's really hunting the base stuff out there. So there's not a lot of wiggle room because as soon as you start hitting that nine fives and nines in those cards, you start dropping value just like PSA. You have for me, like with PSA, I plan on tens when I'm looking at stuff, or the nines make sense to me to where I'm either for sure after fees and all the stuff, I'm gonna come close to breaking even or make somewhat of a profit. And that's lower end. A higher end nines, that's a different story on because you have more of a wiggle room to make profit. But I do see SGC's going to have to eventually drop their prices down. So with both PSA and SGC, I do, in my own opinion, think their prices are going to continue going down until it makes sense versus what PSA 10s and 9s of certain cards sell for because of what we're paying for them to do for their service. All right, guys, as always, please leave comments down below. I like going through and reading it because sometimes I have different thoughts in my head and I just, you know, forget to throw it out in the video and stuff like that there. As always, I appreciate the support out there. You guys have a good week and I'll see you next video.